story we're following closely that the man convicted in the stabbing death of a woman in her Chinatown apartment back in 2022 will spend decades behind bars. Christina Yuna Lee's murder left an indelible mark on the Asian community who had already felt vulnerable from a spike in hate crimes during the pandemic. Lisa Rosner was in the courtroom as her family faced the killer for the first time. Moments after facing convicted murderer, 27-year-old Asamad Nash, the aunt of Christina Yuna Lee could not hold in her pain. She and Lee's father asked the judge to impose the maximum sentence, life in prison with the possibility of parole after 30 years. And the judge did just that, citing serious mental deficiencies that cannot be cured with meds. I want to see him. I miss the heart very much. I miss the heart. I'm waiting for her whenever she comes, whenever I go to see you. 35-year-old Lee, originally from New Jersey, was a creative producer who moved to the city one year prior to her murder, February 13th, 2022, around 4.30 a.m. The Manhattan DA says Nash followed her into her building up six flights of stairs and then forced himself into the apartment. He tried sexually assaulting her, but she grabbed a kitchen knife, which he eventually used against her, stabbing her at least 40 times. Hearing screams for help, neighbors called 911. Police did not gain entrance to the scene of the crime until one hour and 20 minutes had passed. The NYPD declined to comment, citing pending litigation filed by the family against the city. Lee's father says he would like to see the city name a homeless shelter after her so the entire city never forgets what happened. Nash, whose hands were restricted even within the handcuffs, showed no emotions and did not speak. Every New Yorker must be safe from the type of tragic violence that took her life. Money raised in Lee's name is going to nonprofits, including one that deals with domestic and sexual violence. In Lower Manhattan, Lisa Rosner, CBS News, New York.